What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. No man wants me to be his girlfriend. Maybe it's because you act like a child. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm just saying what grown woman that pays rent, that's got a car note, acts like this. I've never understood why men treat women in their 30s as if they are like the most undesirable things on the planet. Ladies, are because you are. <laughs> Sorry. Unfortunately, 95% of men are not approaching women anymore. Women are outraged because 63% of men have gone their own way. Wow. But they still don't realize that they did this to themselves since they still continue the same behaviors that contributed to men walking away. Men are trash. Men are trash. Yes. Describe wow. your ideal man. Less than 1% type Describe of, him. of guy. Describe him. All has money more than I would make. Minimum amount of money that you would want your man to make a year or net worth. Over a million a year. Out I don't want to date someone that makes more, less money than I do. I would a guy who makes a million dollars a year, and I mean this sincerely, why would he want to marry you? Why would he want to marry a ran through girl that's wearing a bikini top on a podcast? I'm like, come on, honey, you're not a hot commodity. It's clear they only want walking bank accounts. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. Like the login? Yeah. I, I'm actually going to pull up this text. Okay, no this way. guy I met like last month and he's younger. So I'm sorry, but just... It's just the way she talks. He's younger, and it's like, I asked for the bank statement. It's like, I hate that Valley Girl accent so much. This is like California. It just reeks of that hoity-toity, stuck-up energy. I hate it. But this is how much he has in his account. He's 27 and has that much in his account. Yes, I screenshotted it and sent it to myself. They want to take advantage of us and use us for the resources we have while also Facts. encouraging other women to do the same. Mm -hmm. They also say that this is the bare... I'm going to coin the term. It's going to be called reverse pimping because that's what these women are doing. It's like they're pimping us out or they're trying to. It's reverse pimping, right? They're, they're seeing if you got a bank account. You see if you got en enough money for them to just leech off of you. And it's like reverse pimping. Instead of us using them to make money, they're just trying to use us. And we're, we're done with it. it. We're like, we're really starting to see the writing on the walls. And that's why a lot of men are going their own way. A minimum and to never settle for anything less. Call the I bear. I can't stress this enough. Men are not worth settling for in any circumstance. Baby and girl, you wearing a grandma cardigan. Who are you talking about settling for? Stop it. Any way, shape, or form, it's not worth it. Once you get to the like mindset that like men are not worth settling for, that is when you get the good men because they're the only ones that you'll accept. This mindset that men and you alone. That's what I don't get. It's like she's preaching all this, but you're alone. Aren't good enough is rooted in their dissatisfaction of the average man. The problem is not that men aren't good enough. Look the at that. problem is they don't want average. 90%. Let's go to a hypothetical And look at those pudgy ass little fingers and she's swiping left on every dude. Situation where every man on earth met their ridiculous standards. Their old standards would just become the new bare minimum and mm -hmm. the new average leading to them being dissatisfied again. Brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. Once and only once a year, I will go out with a man who's 5'10", because typically 5'11 is my minimum. I only really did it- Baby girl, you look like a wet lizard. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you even talking? What are you wearing? It's got like 2D tigers on it. Your hair looks like sea moss. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? Because, and it only ever really happens out of desperation. Because it's been a minute since I've gotten literally any. Wait, 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 wait. I've seen her before. Miss Squidward? <laughs> it's the long nose for me. To go on a freaking date with me, let alone have a conversation. Notice how she said she only did it out of desperation because the men she wants won't give her the time of day. Mm -hmm. I noticed a correlation between the never settle mindset and average women wanting above average men, which never goes well for them. It never but they does. would never settle for anything less. Mm -hmm. What's funny is when you ask them why would their ideal man marry them, 
they always freeze up and realize Because they got nothing to bring to the table. Then they get angry at the person who asked that question. Mm -hmm. I would a guy who makes a million dollars a year, and I mean this sincerely. Deep down, they know this man she's will like, never marry them. But she's they like, what do you mean? I'm the Shaz. I'm her. You are not her, honey. I am so sorry. I hate to break it to you, but you are not her. You really are not her. Being a single mom is so damn hard. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I, I knew I was going to get to hit this one this episode. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Dating a 30-year-old single mom or of three or fight prime Mike Tyson. Somebody's like me as fuck. I have lost the absolute last shred of hope I had that there's still good men left in the world. We don't care. So I guess day one... Uh, since, since the person I thought I would marry broke up with me. Oh, boo -hoo. <laughs> Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> Before we continue, I would like to ask you. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. All right, let's, let's, skip, let's skip it. Be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Um, probably a bear. Where's and your neck at? <laughs> Welcome to Burger King, home of the Burger Kings. Or work on the Burger King, home of the Big Backs. Can I take your order? Let me guess, a double Big Back special for you? Don't know where her neck ends and her back begins. Um, because um, I detest men. Um, I'm a misandrist. Um, you know, that's how I am. Do you know what I mean? Well, at least she's. At least she owns up to it that she's a misandrist. I don't know a lot of guys that walk around bragging about being a misogynist. Don't know what we're gonna do about that. But yeah. The bear versus man trend is pretty stupid. It is. Considering the men they're talking about only make up 1.28% of the male population. It's crazy to think, right? It's just another excuse for misandrists to spread their extreme opinions on men, which is why it's gotten so popular among Western women, mm -hmm. just like 4B did. I never get hit on when I go out. Like, I think my outfit is What so the? You look like a shower curtain. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? You look like you were in a paintball fight and lost miserably. You look like you got... What's the dude? John Lennon's jacket from when he got assassinated. What in the H-E double hockey sticks are you wearing? So cute. We don't care. About it is either I'm ugly, which is why guys don't talk to me, or I'm Yes. Like Correct. <laughs> yes, that part. Too attractive that they're intimidated, which is why they don't talk to me. And I don't think I'm ugly, so I'm going to go with option number two. Ooh, I hate to break it to you, honey, but it's not that option. Hoping. Did you know that 53% of single men don't approach women because they're scared of coming off as creepy? Wow. This means that single women are going to have to step up their game and make the first move. Wow. You're telling me half of men will finally leave me and my friends alone at the bar and stop coming with their unsolicited advances? Stop the cap. Ain't, honey, stop it. Ain't nobody approaching you. If they're approaching you, they're like, hey, can you not run into me? That's why they're approaching you. Let's ramp those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Where's your neck? Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> it's always the chicks that I can't even see their necks. 50% of men from 18 to 29, they're, it's not even like they want to date anymore. They're single and they're not looking. So we're dealing with a very small pool of men, which means we need to be wise. But I don't think... I'm sorry, but I don't think any of y'all know how men work. No. Nope. Because the way that I'm hearing you guys talk, it's like two different worlds. From Stupid. our perspective, it makes a lot of sense. But we have Brian here. We have the cameraman. Men operate on a completely different spectrum when it comes to relationships. This is because they think the world revolves around them. True. They don't care if men well, view... Well, dude, like I've said in previous episodes, women are children. Women are children, man. They act like children. If your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he said, baby, can you cook me a meal? Would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? No. Just be on, being honest. <laughs> oh, what about you, Kiki? It all depends on how I'm feeling. All right, it depends. Oh, you well, another depends. It depends on the situation. Here's another Oh, point. he's got a deep ass voice. If an intruder broke inside the house, would you or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door? Natasha. Absolutely. Allie. 
Yes. <laughs> Kiki. All I'm saying is if you don't, it's over after that. Uh, yeah, I would expect that. What I've heard was that a woman's wifey duty <laughs> is based off her feelings, right? It depends on how I feel. Mm -hmm. But the man's duty of protecting you, it's mandatory. How is it a fair deal? These are so different. Like, yeah. what is, like, no, they're not. They're not different. It's duty. Marriage is duty. People, a lot of people get married because they're like, oh, this is going to be fun. Relationships are fun, but they're a lot of hard work. You've got to dig deep. You've got to compromise. You have to make sacrifices. You have to come to a common agreement, even though sometimes you guys may disagree. Marriage is work. And that's the problem with modern women is that they think relationships are all just supposed to be fun. I'm just supposed to just get plowed by this guy and be able to go to the club and girls nights in Miami and blah, 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 blah. But they don't want to have any responsibility to their man when it comes to being the duty of a wife. Marriages work. A lot of these ladies don't understand that. They want a husband, but they don't want to be a wife. They just want to be in a relationship and have the title. Not, the one is like you're both about to die, maybe. Right, and if you don't and do it, you're going to die, too. Bro, 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 Here's one tattoo I absolutely hate. It's the music notes. And she got them on her chesticles? <sighs> God. And the other one is you might So, it's not about the situation. It's about... And I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. What do you think about chest hats on women? Huge turnoff for me the man is attracted to and is about what the woman is attracted to the man is attracted to femininity submissiveness the woman is attracted to masculinity, masculinity protecting and providing so if you're not giving what we are naturally attracted to it's not a fair deal if we have to always give you what you're naturally attracted to a that's going to protect you the reason Facts. they think like this is because they by 30 initiative and challenges police departments to increase their number of women on the force to 30 percent by the year 2030 their goal Stupid. a 30 percent female police force last year it was 11 percent this year it's 13 percent we don't care she says among the biggest changes they've made to help attract recruits especially women <sighs> okay. no more physical ability tests <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that part of it? Isn't that part of it? No more physical ability tests. Okay, so if she needs to go tackle a dude, don't worry about her being able to tackle dudes. Stop it with the equality. Stop it. I gotta go back to this chick trying to pick up this dummy. <laughs> no more physical ability tests. What's that? Say that again? She says among the biggest changes so they've stupid. made to help attract recruits, no more physical ability tests. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> now trainees must pass a physical agility test designed to mirror tasks in the field. Which means we're all f Yet another case of feelings wow. overriding others' safety. It's insane that they think hiring officers who are incapable of passing simple physical ability tests is a good idea. If they get into a bad situation and they're by themselves, the only thing they can do is use lethal force since they're too weak to stop the situation without. So true, man. If they're trying to do this, and this is like a goal amongst other police departments, we're just gonna see a lot more female cop shootings because they're just gonna be blasting dudes. Like you, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I've seen the videos on YouTube. These dudes bowing up with cops and like squaring up straight, giving them the two piece and a biscuit to a dude, like putting the guns down, putting the hands up. I'm cool with that. Do you think a girl's going to do that? A guy on the street, belligerent and crazy. She's going to put the dukes up and go one, one, two piece. Like she's working overtime at Popeye's. No, she's not doing that. There's no way. Oh, she's going to get fed like a lunch lady. Or I guess a kid in the lunch line. Man, this is going to be so bad. I can't believe they're trying to do this. I think they also do uh, try to do this in like some form of like, um, I don't know if it was the SEALs or some military in another country. They're like, we want women to do it. And then they try to do the physical exam and failed miserably. <laughs> Ladies, it's okay. Masculinity, the patriarchy, built the modern world that we live in. It's okay. Let us do our thing. Just bask in it. All these nice things that we have, we made, we built this world so you guys could li like live in it, enjoy it, because y'all y'all are gonna mess around, and you're gonna let Chad and Tyrone hit, you're gonna let him bust in you, and then one day, you're just gonna wake up and it's gonna be. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Now you 
you a single mom. You a single mom. You a single mom. I don't make the rules, man. <laughs> Oh my god it's crazy dude like I, i'm pretty i'm pretty wrapped up in my own bubble at home you know what i mean i don't go out too much but when i see this stuff online i'm like this is the real world we're living in right now it's absolutely crazy to me i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i'll see you guys tomorrow man love y'all peace